We already discussed several growth tools, but another great way to increase the number of users in your chatbot is by using your website. With Chatfuel, you can put a website widget on your website and you can even specify the widget to only appear on certain pages. So let's see how we can create a website widget in Chatfuel. So if you go to your Chatfuel dashboard, you can just go to the Grow tab and then just scroll down until you see Customer Chat Plugin for your website. And when you click on Enable, you need to fill in your domain, which is chatomize.com for me. And then we get a certain code from Chatfuel and we can just click Copy. And you need to add that code to your website just right after the body tag. And if you've never added some code to your website, I recommend to ask a developer to do this. But if you have just a really small experience with editing some code on, on your website, it is really doable. It just will cost you a few minutes. And because I know a lot of you are using WordPress for your website, I will show you how you can easily add this code to your WordPress website. So if you go to your WordPress dashboard, which should look like this. Then we can go to plugins and click on add new. Here we can search for insert headers and footers, which is the plugin that we're going to use for this. And then we can click on install now. And then we can click on activate once it is installed. Then if we go to settings, and then we can select insert headers and footers. And then here you have the scripts in body. So here you can paste the script that we just got from Chatfuel and then we'll hit save. So now the settings are saved. If I go to my website, then the customer chat plugin will automatically show. And with the customer chat plugin, there are two ways and how you can interact with it. One way is to log into your Messenger account, and that's your Facebook account. The other way is to continue as a guest, where the user doesn't have to log into Facebook. So let's say we want to continue as a guest, then it will automatically show the welcome message of our chatbot. And what would we like to do? For example, we would like to make a reservation. Then we can also continue on Messenger, not going to do that right now. Awesome, you can give us a call or create a reservation on our website. So the customer chat plugin of Chatfuel is for setting up your web chat for your complete website. But it could be the case that you want to show the web chat only on certain pages or want to show a different greeting per page. And that's when you need to use the flow builder. So if you click on this icon and choose for customer chat, we can set up a different customer chat for the reservation page of our restaurant website. So instead of saying, hey, how can we help you? For example, we can say, hi, do you want to create a reservation? And you also can set a different greeting message for users that are logged out, users that are guests. You also need to set the chatomize.com domain, your domain, you need to set that. You have a different script that you need to install on your website, which is similar to what we did before. And you, then you can specify on which pages you want to show this website widget, or you can specify pages on which you don't want to show this website widget. Then you can also set different flows for what, if the user is logged in or whenever the user is a guest. So if we can connect this one, if a user is a Facebook Messenger user, then he will go to this flow. And for the guest, you can also set a different flow. Uh, right now, we're not going to do that, but that's possible. So if you connect that, we will set it to slash reservation. So if it would go to chatomize.com slash mm slash reservation, then he would show a different message. And the only thing you need to do left is activate it. So that's how you set up a website chat widget in general for your website and for specific pages with Chatfuel. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.